Oh my god. Yo, 85 mining. Oh my god, that's pretty crazy. I've never gotten 85 on old school before. And it's nice to get on the armor because now I can mine Runite. It's also a Master Clue Scroll skill requirement, so I don't have to boost for anything. Now that I'm 85, when I am mining at the Mother Load, I'll always have, you know, a chance of getting Runite. So I'll be able to make a lot of rune bars in the future as well, just from, you know, AFK Mother Loading. And that should upkeep my rune dart use, since I plan on using the rune darts pretty much all the time now, so... Ooh, Dragon Plate Lakes, man. You know, I've seen these so many times, but seeing them from Metal Dragons always gives me a little bit of smile, dude. Nothing like getting them from versus something like Wyverns, honestly. Very iconic drop. Haha! <laughs> oh, wow. This guy was trying to snipe uh, the Edgeville lover people, but. I already have my freaking clicks ready on the lever. Abyssal Superior is almost dead. Okay, it's dead. Here we go. Okay, just the uh, totem base. No problem. Alright, second superior almost dead. Okay, it's dead. Here we go. Ooh, Elite Clue Scroll. Hell yeah, okay. I haven't gotten Elite Clue Scroll in so long. I have all the clues ready for a Master Clue, so that's awesome. Oh, what? An occult necklace from these little guys. Wow, dude. That makes up for uh, the one that I lost a long ass time ago in the wilderness. When I was uh, going for the shards, you know, for the wilderness shields. That's really cool. I thought it was a superior that spawned or something, but okay. Oh my god. Another one. GG, man. Wow. That's crazy, man. Just raining occult necklaces, man. Uh, what are the rates from these? 1 in 512. Wow. It's like getting, I guess, like two whips in one task kind of deal. So this moment here is going to be a very special moment for me since I've never gotten such a 99 before on old school. So if you weren't aware I've been basically planting all of my fruit trees slash tree seeds that I've gotten from you know PVM all the bosses and all the slayer monsters have built me up to this point where I can get 99 farming so but this Kelquat uh, tree checked that is it so let's just get right into it guys this is the next 99 right a really good 99 as well not one of those easy ones this is Quite a special one indeed. So here we go. Voila! 99 farming, man. That's freaking amazing. Congratulations, you are now a master of farming. So I am going to be getting this cape because it is useful. It's going to motivate me a lot to do some herb runs. I no longer need to do tree runs, so I probably won't be doing tree runs anymore. So the farming cape has a 5% chance to increase. Uh, the yield in herb patches so it also stacks with magic secretaries 10% so it's overall 15% all right finally I have the right to go ahead and buy myself the skill cape of farming so here we go there it is nice and beautiful wow to have this cape on my Iron Man is impressive I never expected to get the farming cape you know way back when I started this account just because yeah, if anything, it'll just be all combat orientated, but it's just uh, something that kind of just happened, so I'm very glad that it happened. I'm going to perform the emote, of course. Oh, man, that's freaking sick. Nice. Oh, man, that's crazy. So, what is the next 99, right? That's probably the question that a lot of you guys will be asking. For all I know, it could be something like fishing, but I do anglerfish, so it's super, super slow. And might be hunter, because I've actually been gaining hunter levels pretty steadily from Armadale tasks. There is even a possibility that I could get 99 hunter before the hilt, but yeah, we'll see what the next 99 is as I get closer to another one. So all these capes here are pretty damn useful. I use them all the time for different situations. If you want to know more about it, the cooking cape is basically guaranteed food not being burned if you have it worn. 
Slayer Cape, if you have in your inventory, warn 10% chance of getting the previous stats that you just got very useful for my superior grinding. Strength Cape, I haven't used that much, but for occasional clue scrolls, as it teleports me to the Warrior skill, which is convenient for some of them. Magic Cape, very useful, I use it every day. I'm able to swap spell books once a day for free, so I don't have to go to my house and do that. And the Range Cape acts as accumulator, and it's just very useful since I go raiding and stuff all the time. And the farming cape is the 5% extra yield for herb patches and the quest cape probably the one I use the most sends me straight to the nearest fair rings. More capes for you know more awesome uses. Alright I've passed 10 towards those so I believe the second tier and the magic cape is now kicking in. Nice 13 from that patch. I would love to see what my record will be you know if I keep up the farming. Would love to see me possibly getting like 18 or like 20. I think it's possible, but yeah, it's gonna be very rare. But with this combo, chances are gonna be a bit higher. So this is my new farming setup for herb runs. I got the farming cape, of course, and I brought along with me dust bow staff, the tome of fire, and the mud bow staff because they provide infinite of their respective runes. So this one is earth, air. Tone Fire is obviously Fire Runes, and Mobile Staff is for Water Runes. And they're mainly used for teleport purposes, and also for Fertile Soil. Okay, let's check out this Master Clue, man. It's been a few days, actually been over a week since the last one. Let's pop this open. Here we go. Oh, wow, okay. Just pages. Oh, this is my 40th Master Clue, and uh, it was over a mil value. Cool. Alright, Marble Gargoyle dead. We get... Ooh, hard clue scroll. Okay. Okay, this is the gargoyle task done. And in the process of this task, I went on an alking spree. Got over 6 mil. So the only time I need money nowadays is really just to buy death runes and stuff for bursting and barraging. So yeah, with 6 mil, that's like 27,000 death runes right there. Oh my god. I guess we're stopping slur for now because I just got myself another Armadale task. All right, man. Time to cast some chins in a bit. That hard clue from the superior gargoyle. Let's pop it open. Oh, explorer's backpack. Yo, damn, dude. That's cool, yo. I got explorer's backpack, yo. Definitely a unique item. I guess I did not uh, do my proper research for when I was doing the blood rune crafting method. You can actually kind of get two inventories worth of essence blocks before you had to head over to the altar. But luckily for me, the method where I uh, teleport to my house to recharge my energy is still useful because sometimes you can get two full inventories of essence blocks really fast before your run even like regens back. So yeah, the house is really useful for that. So that way I can always run no matter what. So I've been doing blood runes for a solid hour now and I think this is the stabilized rate, about 38k an hour which is about 8,000 XP more than obviously the way I did it before so that's a fast improvement and that's really good because if I had to buy blood runes in the store it's usually about 400 GP each per rune which is ridiculous okay this is gonna be the chin for 94 hunter wow dude that's just crazy I'm still getting hunter levels and yeah I'm almost uh, ready for the Armadale task just gotta catch like 200 more anyways Andrew 26k to 95 oh shoot Godsword shard too losing losing track of this boss oh shit no I'm already done with the task damn that sucks 1075 KC whatever on to the next task dude hey hey got my first uh, regular blood fill superior they're the same rate as the mutated blood fill superior for like in hard so if you're wondering I'm just killing these because it's faster to just get this tat through for the same chance that they imbue hard. So here we go. And it's dead. Alright, Blood Veil. Head. Okay. There we go. Marble Gargoyle is dead. Oh, damn. Two rune drops. Not bad. Alright, good luck. Oh, Dragon Hunter crossbow, huh? Gotta go for that one last hit. Here we go. It's dead. And I get the totem top to finish off a totem. All right. All right, second superior. 
sweet. Got myself my second episode whip. Coming back. Awesome, man. Okay, so now I really don't have to be conservative when it comes to using the Absolute Tentacle. I've been just using it for solo raids. I'm gonna also be using the Absolute Tentacle for group ones as well. So at this raid, I should be able to upkeep Absolute Tentacle for every single raid that I do. So that's gonna be really good. Dude, you're not gonna believe this. Third superior of this task. Oh. Alright, starting to complete another totem though. So let me reiterate the current goals. Right now I'm looking for the Imbue Heart, I'm looking for the Armadale Hilt to finish off the God War set. I'm looking for more Raids items to complete the Raids set if possible. Mainly looking for the Twisted Bow though because I would love to have that so I can have a crack at beating the Inferno, that would be amazing as well. And also Corporal Beast items is also a goal but it's more of a side goal. But yeah, those items are unfortunately super RNG to get. And the quickest one that would probably happen is the Armadale Hilt, but unfortunately I am over two times the drop rate dry and it doesn't seem like it's going to be happening anytime soon. But I am trying hard to, you know, make progress on those goals and hopefully in the next episode I can finally get another item to my goal list. So I will be wrapping up today's video here guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you are new to the channel and you would like to stay up to date with videos from this series then feel free to subscribe as well. But other than that I will catch you guys later with another video hopefully in a few days with some more amazing games. Take care.